Namaskar, Banakam, Sashriko, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan Family. I'm Anjali. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of politics and news. So uh, we've done a few things on the UN speeches. You guys have asked us about uh, doing things in Article 370 and 35A. And uh, we just recently did about uh, the surprise with Turkey and Malaysia kind of um, not siding with India anymore and taking Pakistan's side. Seems to be a little bit on religious grounds. So, um, but there was a... Zakir Nayak on it, and so you guys had asked us to respond to some of his stuff, and so we found uh, a little speech from him and from Sadhguru, and we've done Sadhguru stuff as well, and so it's kind of um, comparing the two on uh, Kashmir and Article 370 and 35A. So let's start this up. Zakir Nayak, part of the Article dishes, 370 and 35A. The taken by Indian government recently, by the BJP government, especially Narendra Modi, is to re repeal or cancel the Constitution. It's unconstitutional because you know that Kashmir was independent mm, It's not unconstitutional. Land. When the partition took place between India and Pakistan, Kashmir became a part with having clauses. It's independent and no one can buy any property there, no one can become a citizen. All these clauses were there which slowly, slowly, many of the clauses were not followed. Now the main clause of 370, they want to repeal it and they want to make it into a union territory, which is unconstitutional, but there is a law in the government that if you have two-third majority in the upper house and the lower house, if you have majority in the Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha, you can change the constitution. That is the reason they are changing now, which have many repercussions. What should be done? I believe that the Muslims all over the world should object to it and put as much as pressure as possible to undo this. Religion. And as you said rightly, that they are doing something what similar happened in what happened in Palestine. And Palestine, we know it belonged to the Muslims, to the Palestinians. During the war, they gave the Jews a just shelter. They gave them shelter and they took away the full house. And now when the Palestinians are crying that give back a house, you're calling Palestinians the terrorist. Same thing is happening in Kashmir. And you know, they're trying to do a survey which model works. And if they think that the Palestinian model worked, but at least for the Palestinian cause, Alhamdulillah, to a great extent, the Muslims were united. Not that we could protect it completely, but Alhamdulillah, to a great extent, we were united. But the other issues, we are not. I don't know how far will the Muslim countries react to this, but logically speaking, Islamically speaking, all the Muslim countries should Muslim unite countries. and try and protect the rights of the Kashmiris. The ruling party in India and the Prime Minister in India, Narendra Modi, what do they do? From the Indian Constitution, they delete Act Number 370. Most of you may not be knowing about Act Number 370. When India, when the Britishers left, they divided India into three parts. Pakistan, West Pakistan, East Pakistan, which later on became Bangladesh Christine and India. Why? Because they wanted to divide the Muslim into three. So one third went to Pakistan approximately, one third went to Bangladesh, one third stayed in India. And later on they divided East and West Pakistan, three different countries, let the Muslim side. Kashmir divide India into three. Opted, okay, we don't mind joining India under the condition that we are independent. So in the Indian constitution, Article 370 says that Kashmir is independent. It will have its own constitution. No, they it will have its own laws. It will have its own government. They may them. be in the umbrella of India, but they are independent. No non-Kashmiri can come and buy land in Kashmir. All this is mentioned. But India is paying for them. 70 years later, the BJP government which is anti-Islamic government. Uh, 
peace what do they do they, they want to scrap this channel. and only way they can do is by getting majority in the lower house and upper house rajya sabha and lok sabha and recent election they got the majority in both the houses and they scrap this it is unconstitutional and they made it into a union territory there are some muslim countries objecting but it has been a part of india we are united when we make a nation the most uh, fundamental aspect of a nation is its sovereignty that is the borders whatever else we may have we may have our uh, ideologies we may have our philosophies concepts languages race religion ethnicity all kinds of things but the fundamental thing is geography so the fundamental mistake we made in the in the at the time of making this nation is we did not define the geographical bound, boundaries very clearly we left it to ambiguity for that ambiguity blood is flowing right now unfortunate but it has to be fixed at least now i feel in the next 3 to 5 years time which is india which is not india must be clear to every indian so that we don't continue to do this forever yeah unfortunately how how what is that test of indianness or patriotism that no, no, i'm not talking about patriotism i'm talking about geography hmm. i'm saying if this is the border i must know that the chair that you're sitting on is not mine right now i think it's mine and you think this is yours now unnecessarily it goes on we must make it very clear whatever it takes if geography is not clearly demarcated endlessly this will go on it will not allow us to focus on our economic development uh, well being of the people education thousand things we need to do in this country it will not let us do that both in terms of economic investment and this bloodletting that is happening all the time so one thing we must do is we must True. be very clear is where is india's borders 100% are you are you saying that the kashmir problem will be solved in the next 3 years is it that it must be possible? solved if you are interested in the nation it's not kashmir problem i don't think you should refer to it as kashmir problem it's india's problem we must settle it how is that possible we've done this for 7 decades we've tried it and failed uh, the thing is uh, we tried for the last 5 years and failed see what has not happened till now if you believe it cannot happen in future well that is uh, very defeatist that's not how i look at life what has not been done till now can be done now and i think the ground is being prepared for that and that is why you see this little bit of escalation unfortunately lives are being lost but uh, we must ensure these sacrifices don't go waste sadguru this new government since we started talking about how in the next 3 years ground is being prepared for new initiatives of you know doing things which was unthinkable till now article 370 is something that you've spoken very strongly about for 5 years there was no movement on it do you hope that finally on that there will be a solution there will be delimitation article 370 35a all of this so very clearly when this article was written for whatever reasons i don't want to do a post mortem of history what's been done has been done all right but very clearly they said it's temporary and transient i want to understand what is india's idea of temporary and transient what is your idea of temporary and transient i think 70 years which means two generations of people have gone by if you still think temporary and transient things can continue in this country forever then that means you're not looking for a solution i think it's time to look for a solution i do not think in terms of 370 35a not in this context what i am telling you is just this as i said earlier every indian must know which is india which is not india so that we don't continue this endless bickering going on and it's not just bickering it is bloodletting going on whether it happens as a major war or a daily happening 
If you account for this, this will, the whole year, 365 days, how many people die, it's a reasonable war, all right? So, we must clearly decide which is India, which is not India. If you don't... if you don't have the courage and the commitment to take those steps, then we will continue to bleed like this, and this level of bleeding may not remain at this level. As somebody else gets more empowered, exactly. you will see the bloodletting may happen at a much larger scale. Can this government do it? Well, a government with such a mandate, if it cannot do it, nobody else can do it. They should do it. Also, there are people in the valley who say that if 370 goes, if such a solution is even attempted, they will put down the flag of India. In face of such statements, and these are mainstream parties, how can we do it? See, in India, anybody can make any statement because there is no consequence for making irresponsible statements in this country. People can make absolutely irresponsible statements and still hold responsible positions. Unfortunately, we've allowed that to happen. So, uh, they can say something today, they will say something tomorrow according to their politi political uh, advantages. I don't think that's an issue. People are talking about... First of all, stop talking about this as Kashmiri problem. This is India's problem. What does the people of India think? Somebody said, why not plebiscite? I said, why not? Let's vote in the whole country, which way we want to go, then you will know which way it is. Why are you treating it as a Kashmiri problem? The moment you say it's a Kashmiri problem, you are saying it is not India. No, in my mind and heart, and so in most of the people, over hundred crore people, see it as India, all right? And it was India in 1948 or whatever. So, rethinking partition once again means we have amnesia. One partition happened, nearly 600,000 people died. Three, four million people went this way, that way. In both the nations, they're not settled. It's not about just us, even that side, those who went from here to there, they are still suffering. Those who came from there to here after seventy years, many are still like refugees. Do you want such situations once again in India? We don't want such situations. If you have not learned from that lesson, it's just foolish. We don't want any more partitions. How to take these people ahead should be the goal right now. This is not about different identities continuing with the same uh, thing. That identity was fixed in 1947 or 48. After that, it's over. You can't rethink it every few years. You don't think there is the fear that a part of our country will secede? That is what is said every time that there is a rethink on the instrument See, of... See, who is to decide that? The Kashmiri people? No, the, the, Kashmiri in, the Indian people will decide that. Right, because it's part of India. Kashmir people of India, of India and the government of India Kashmir must decide problem. that. It's India's problem. We have to stop the bloodshed. That was an interesting, two different, completely two different sides of the story, you know. And um, obviously, Sakir Naik, his siding is mainly religious and, you know, that it's unconstitutional and, you know, that they're changing these things. And, you know, for somebody that was born in India, um, not really taking... Um, an Indian side to this at all. It's more of a religious side to it. And India is so diverse. You know, all the stuff we've done, you can see the diversity in India, the religious diversity, so many different people, different cultures, different religions. And, you know, it, there shouldn't be bloodshed over this. You know, Kashmir is part of India. It's been part of India since Pakistan attacked it. And, you know, there was some, the Article 370 and 35A was just supposed to be a temporary fix. It's part of India. It's always been part of India. And, you know, Sadhguru, for somebody who's a Hindu, like, spiritual leader, not like just, you know, regular person, that pre that he's like the big guru, he didn't say one word about religion, right? He just talked about... This is India's problem. 
we need to work on stopping the bloodshed and and getting the people to kind of agree we don't want thousands of people to die again you know over this but we need to make our borders clear you know pakistan took part of kashmir china has a piece of it too like what is left is part of india and they need to figure out how to make it as great as the rest of india and it's india's problem to decide how that's going to happen you know so it's the the end all result we need not as much bloodshed we need this to be resolved you know peacefully and you know india modi hopefully this will become a great thing for him that he can get under and and work and hopefully things will work out good you know and we don't want bloodshed in this we want peace is the answer and um you know we want things to work out well for india and all the people inside you know it's not just um it's not about religion everybody in the world we want peaceful answers gandhi's message has always been our our praise here at the jan family so we we want to support india any way we can so keep sending us these links and keep sending us more information that you want us to react on and uh, we'll do some more on Sadhguru. We'll do some more on Zakir Nayak if you'd like. And uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Hope you like this. Bye.